Hey, how's it going? I'm here today to talk about Game of Gloves and a pre bit of, I'm gonna give you a bit of a pre reflex like talk, I guess. And I can tell you what our team's been up to, um, what we're thinking going into the tournament and my thoughts on the tournament itself. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna do like just an unboxing, I'm not gonna review them, I've not used them yet. So yeah, packaging. Pretty standard packaging, nothing special, just a bit of like cardboard. <clears throat> Open it up inside. Like a transparent packaging again, plastic. Inside that, we have the actual product. Game of gloves. Um First looks, not too impressed, <laughs> to be honest. But we win these in our EGL tournament, so it's not like I went out of my way to buy them or anything. Um, let me try them on. Let's see what this says, actually. Brief introduction on Game of Gloves. Game of Gloves' overall design was specifically made for every type of gamer out there. The gloves provide maximum comfort, prevent those little slip-ups along with blisters, while also maintaining the texture and feel of your controller as if you were wearing nothing. It's time to take your gaming to the next level while looking good doing so. Dominate your gaming today with Gamer Gloves. Alright, cool. So, I'm not really sure about that because I can't really say I've ever had any blisters from gaming. If you game to the point where you got blisters, you need to stop playing Halo. Or whatever it is you play. Um, try them on. These might be a little small. I got the small ones here. You know, these are definitely a bit too small for me, but I got some other sizes too. Um, yeah, they look pretty cool, to be honest, and they feel they feel nice. But the texture is like really expandable, which is cool. Um, the design, they like the black and orange. Um, yeah. In terms of looks, they look they look good to me. They feel good. Um, let me just grab my controller. <sighs> the grip on the controller feels I don't feel as if I could plan it because my grip would be too bad. Um, yeah, they're too like soft, I think, and I feel like my hands would slip even more on the controller with the gamer gloves on to be honest but I haven't tried it yet so that's not definite um, they do have like a grip on the thumb but I feel like they could use is not really that useful they could use better grip on these and they could be a lot more effective if they did so um, yeah that's pretty pretty much it it's a pretty basic product um, in terms of would I ever wear these whilst gaming probably not um, I might wear them at an event to keep my hands warm in between matches. That's that would be like the best thing for me to use them for personally. Um, yeah. What else? Let's talk about Reflex GT now, which is tomorrow. I'm going to Reflex GT tomorrow. Super excited to go with the team. Um, we're flying from different places. Me and Ramirez are leaving from Manchester. Um, hopefully it's not delayed because I don't know if you can see but it's been snowing outside my room um, pretty bad and I only live about 20 minutes from the airport so it's not looking ideal but I don't think there will be a delay so we should be okay um, yeah what I've done today just gone and got my euros today so pretty much ready just gonna pack my stuff um, get some last minute practice in tonight um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably probably hit up the gym tomorrow, you know, feel fresh going into the tournament. Because um, I'm most likely going to be eating garbage this weekend. Um, not too not too fussed on what I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be pigging out quite a bit, to be honest, just to try some nice foods in Amsterdam and drink some nice Heineken. I'm going to drink so much Heineken. I don't know why, but the Heineken tastes so much better in Amsterdam than it does here. I mean, it's still good. I like Heineken, you know, that we got over here. It still tastes good, good to me, but... Over there, it just, I don't know if it's because, like, they have a different recipe or something, or if it's because it's more fresh, but it just, it tastes incredible there. 
and it's like it's like five euros a pint in like most places but i'll happily pay five euros a pint because it's that good you know um in terms of the tournament itself so i think saturday morning it's going to be like ffa start on saturday morning maybe some warm-ups or something and um yeah not too fussed about ffa don't really care about ffa i think that's like i'm not even sure what they're doing it for they might be doing it for like seeds i don't know and as far as i'm aware we we haven't even paid our team pass yet so we might not even get a seed but we're not bothered about having a seed to be honest um the game types are perfect for the event, you know, probably the best game types out at the moment. I was just kind of hoping that Abandon and Solace could have been removed. Mainly Solace, I'm not that fussed about Abandon, but mainly Solace. Um, I was hoping that Solace wouldn't be in, but there's just not enough maps, you know. You've got to have enough maps on the game, and there's not, there's, the maps aren't good enough, basically. That's why Solace is in, and we understand that. Luckily, we got the, like, the voting system. So where you can veto game types you know so i'm hoping most people won't be gay and will actually vote for vote against solace but i know there's probably a few teams out there i know a4d will probably be voting for like voting to play abandon and solace because i remember playing them and they're pretty good on those which is kind of annoying but you know we're prepared for anything we haven't really practiced those that much but that's just because it's so hard to to enjoy playing those online. I mean, online. <laughs> like, online it'll be fine. You know, we can sweat it out and we'll still have fun because it's LAN. You know, LAN's LAN. It's just enjoyable, much more enjoyable to play. But online is just, we cannot get the motivation to do that. So we haven't been practicing those as much as the other game types. Um, still confident regardless going in on, in on those game types against anybody because we know what we have to do. And that's all that's important. As long as we know we're all on the same page and we understand what we have to do on that game type, then it doesn't really matter. Um, competition's looking good. Western Worlds have been practicing a lot more, which is what I was hoping for. Tech have been playing absolutely loads, which is, again, it's great. We haven't been playing as much as the other teams. Um, I know I've only got about two days and a bit game time on Halo 4 total, but that's that's not a big deal. Because when we come on, you know, I only really get on when we're practicing as a team, and when we do, we we kill it. When we come on and play as a team, we look we're looking strong. We know what we got to work on, and we improve fast as a team. Um, yeah, the event the event itself, I'm looking forward to you know just being in the center of Amsterdam for the event. So between games, hopefully we can like walk around Amsterdam and just enjoy the city. Um, in terms of where we're gonna place, big fat first place, please. You know, we'll be doing. Also, we're going to be doing lots of content. There's just going to be content all the time from our team. Follow us on Twitter to get constant updates from us. You know, there'll be a few things on TeamHighSociety.com on our front page. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing like interviews in the hotel. You know, pre-interviews and post-match interviews, stuff like that. You know, you definitely, you guys definitely need to check all those out and you know help support us. You know, that's, um, if we can show our sponsors that we're bringing in lots of views and stuff, you know, they'll appreciate that and that'll help us grow, and which in terms basically relates to the scene growing. So, you know, just support us so that we can, you know, we can impress our sponsors. Um, what else? In terms of how I think the event's going to play out, like schedule-wise, I think the schedule is going to be good. Um, in terms of where I think teams are going to play, I'll do a little prediction right now, and I'll try and explain each each reason why. Um, first place, you should not, you should never do this. This is really bad karma to do this. First place, our team. I'm going to say our team is going to get first, but you shouldn't really predict yourself first. You know, you should be confident and everything, but you should never really brag and say you're going to get first. But uh, I'm I am confident that we're going to get first. You know, I believe in the team. I think that there's no way we can get less than first if we do then, you know, round of applause to the other team. You absolutely shocked me and changed my opinion. Second place, and this is going to be the toughest second place ever, I think. I think Western Wolves and Tech, like, as long as none of none of the players choke on either team, I think we're going to be looking at a Game 5 matchup right there. Like, that is going to be intense. Like, Tech have been put... Western Wolves, on paper, 
is probably like a better team in terms of place. Well, it's definitely a better team in terms of placements and what the players have done. But Tech have been hammering out Halo 4, and they are looking good in their online practice. So, you know, that they they're striving, they're striving to play in a final, they're striving to to get their first tournament win. I don't think any of them. I think Hybrid Zyrus top placements the second place, and um, who else is on the team? Septic. Um, Septic's apparently a really good new player. I've not seen him play yet myself at a tournament, but I've heard good things about him. Um, who else? Blackout is their new pickup. You know, that's gonna look good. French player coming in on the team. He seems like a decent player. I mean, you know, he know he seems to know the basics and know what he's doing. I'm not too sure how he's gonna play at the tournament because I don't know that much about him. But they're gonna be they're gonna be a good team. They just played so much and played so much together that there's no way that they could like, in my opinion, get anything less than third, unless one of these French teams can cause an upset. You know, the French community is really big on Halo 4. That's looking great. And I definitely think that a French team could do really well at this tournament. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of new talent from the French side of the community. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Tech to edge out Western Wolves due to playtime. Okay, so I've got us first, Tech second, Western Wolves third. Western Wolves could have played more. They have not played as much as they could have, in my opinion, which is really hypocritical for me to say because we could have played more too. But, you know, everybody's got their own reasons. But that's why I'm going to predict them third. Um, if the books, you know, are playing really good Halo and if Inspired to Kill, like, Inspired to Kill can go off. If he goes off, then, you know, they're just, they're just going to be on fire and they could, you know, they can definitely challenge us for first, you know. There's going to be some hard games with them. Um, fourth place, um, I'm going to go ahead and say A4D, mainly because I want them to place fourth. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody on that team is really cool. Again, they put a lot of time into the game, and um, it's about time they place fourth, you know. I think, like, none of them have placed that high for a while, as far as I know, but, like, or even ever. But I think they definitely, like, it's their time to do so. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. And I'm only going to do my top four predictions. In terms of players to go off for each team, on our team, I'm hoping, you know, Ch Chalky will be going off a lot. You know, I'd expect Fragby to step it up big time because he's not the best of online players, but I'm expecting big things from him online. Um, Western Wolves, you know, I'm expecting just a standard performance from the books and JC, you know, just a solid performance. They don't have to do too much, but I'm looking for Inspired to kill, to put up some big numbers and, you know, be a real momentum player. Uh, third place, Tech. I'm looking for Tech. I mean, hybrid. You know, this guy's played so much and, like, he can do so many amazing things online. Like, just bring it to LAN, Glenn. Bring it to LAN and show everyone what you can do. Um, fourth place, A4D, definitely Validan. You know, this kid's upcomer, he's looking strong online. I like the way he plays, you know, he's got a really fast gameplay and I feel like, you know, that can be really damaging on some of the more passive teams. Um, yeah, I'm going to sum it up there because I've been talking for way too long. But yeah, wish me good luck. And if you're going to Reflex, I cannot wait to see you there. All right, guys, thanks.